asking Pastor Week. I'm about to be your goner. Can't do this anymore, man. Fuck Corona. Oh, man. Hey bitches it's Holland. What's good and welcome back to my channel. So, as you can see by the title, I will be doing a video comparing my favorite rookie girl groups on multiple aspects of a K-pop group. I also will be uploading a boy group version at the same time as this one. So if you're interested, you can check that one if you want. The 6 girl groups I will be comparing in this video are Bandit, Itzy, Everglow, Luna, Izum, and G Idol. Keep in mind all of these picks are based on my personal taste, so please don't get too mad if you don't agree with what I have to say. So let's get into the video. When it comes to dance and choreography, I prefer Bandit's choreography because most of their choreographies focus on the most important aspects of a girl group choreography, which are balance, flexibility, fluidity, and precision. Plus, I like how in their choreographies they interact with one another instead of it feeling like each member is dancing alone to the same song. And like I said before in part 3 of my 4th generation unpopular opinions video, I don't really like Luna's and Izum's choreography because they often rely too much on the fact that they are larger groups with 10 plus members, so they make the choreography very simple because the choreographer knows they can just make it up by creating elaborate formations. Itzy's choreography isn't bad, but they make it look more technically challenging than it actually is mainly because of the fact that their choreographies are usually very fast paced. And lastly, G Idol and Everglow used to make very technically challenging choreographies at first, but I feel like after Everglow's Bon Bon Chocolate and G Idol's Han their choreographies have been simplified to the point where now they feel underwhelming to me. <laughs> For rapping, I had to pick Everglow because I feel like the other group's rap lines usually consist of only one or two members that are good rather than the entire rap line being good. For example, Soyeon and Minnie from G Idol, Ryujin from Itzy, Jiyeon from Izum, and Jin Seoul from Luna are the only rappers from their groups that actually impressed me. Meanwhile, in Everglow, their entire rap line is insanely talented. For vocals, though I think Izum, technically speaking, would be considered the best vocalists, I still prefer Bandit's vocal colors the most out of the six. My favorite from the group are Songi who has such a husky and sultry voice and Jung Woo, who is an amazing power vocalist and I honestly think she has the potential to be this generation's Wendy. For stage presence, I obviously had to choose Itzy because starting from debut they've known how to display their charms and charisma on stage, and even though sometimes they may overdo it to the point where it looks forced, I'd rather have too much presence than too little. <laughs> For discography, I picked Luna partly because they're one of the few rookie girl groups that actually have a well-developed discography because a lot of these companies are misogynistic and only give them a mini-album at most for their comebacks. Meanwhile, rookie boy groups like AB6, TXT, and T's all have full albums already, but that's D for another day. Though I don't like most of Luna's title tracks, their B-sides out of all the groups appeal to my personal taste the most. For concept, I chose Izone because, like I've said in previous videos, I usually gravitate towards more elegant, mature, and classy concepts the most, so obviously Izone's concept caught my eye the most. <laughs> For music videos, I chose Everglow because all of their music videos look extremely well produced, 
The digital camera work of the choreo is insane, the set designs are gorgeous, and I love how their recent music videos have a more pink and purple prominence to them. <laughs> For debuts, I once again had to choose Everglow because everything about their debut was magnificent to me, the creative usage of autotune on their vocals that perfectly complemented the instrumental, the coming of age themed music video, and the choreography is one of my favorites of all time. And not to mention, I listened to that song until almost the end of 2019. Lastly, for styling I chose Etsy because I feel like their stylists have given them their own unique kind of style, and even though most of the time their outfits would be considered mismatched, I feel like they are still able to pull it off in a way that looks aesthetically pleasing. Okay, you guys this is the end of the video. Like I said before, I'll be releasing a boy group version at the same time as this one featuring the groups only one of, MCND, TXT, HND, AB6, and Wavy. So if you would like to see it, I'll leave the link in the description below. Thanks for watching. If you would like to purchase an astrology or tarot card reading from me, click the link in the description below. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And remember to stay snatched.